Hey everyone, Red here, and we have another fun build for trying your games, and today we have the Impossible Skill Check Skull Merchant build, so let's go ahead and break it down. For our first work, we have, of course, Huntress Lullaby. Whenever a survivor misses a healing or repairing skill check, they'll receive an additional 6% regression penalty, and every time you hook a survivor, you'll gain a token. The most important thing is that five tokens, the survivors will no longer have skill check warnings. Second, we have Undying, which will take the place of Huntress Lullaby if it gets cleansed. Third, we have Overcharge. Whenever we kick a generator, we are going to overcharge that gen. And the next server that works on that gen is going to be faced with a difficult skill check. If they miss that, it will apply an additional 4% loss of progress. This also works with Huntress Lullaby. On top of that... An overcharged gen is going to regress from 85% all the way up to 130% of normal regression speed over 30 seconds. And last but not least, we actually had two perks we kind of swapped out. First one, we have Unnerving Presence. Survivors that are within our terror radius have a 10% greater chance of triggering skill checks, but those success zones are going to be reduced by 60%. That was for the first game, and for the second game, we brought Oppression. When we damage a generator, up to three other random generators are also going to begin regressing. If there are any survivors that are working on those said generators, they'll be faced with a difficult skill check. From the games that we played, I would say Oppression is probably more reliable. As far as add-ons, we went with the Addy Valente. Hopefully, I didn't slaughter that too bad. Survivor in a drone's active zone are going to suffer from a 20% smaller skill check. This effect will linger for 15 seconds after leaving the area. And second, we have the shotgun speakers. Survivors in a drone's active zone will have no skill check warning. Overall, this is a really fun build, so I definitely recommend trying it out. Make sure to like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Now let's go ahead and get to the gameplay. I haven't played Skull in a while though, but I always enjoy her. All right. Since we're here, cool. That'll give them something to work on. Do I want to watch all three of these gens? No, but I kind of want to get over here. And just put, I think, this here. There we go. Now watch the totem. That's another thing that Scully's really good at. It's just, like, protecting totems. It should give me an idea of where everyone's at, roughly. That's a pretty good spot. Uh, I'm going to go over here and place it by the totem instead, though. I saw you here, yeah. Hi. Hi. You should be running. No one ever wins that. Pallet camping is just incredibly bad for your health. Oppression might have been a really good call, too. We could definitely use a oppression probably instead of unnerving. Maybe we'll do that next game. Alright, one Huntress Lullaby. Awesome. Let's just restart this. I want to go ahead and uh, kick this with Overcharge. Get it regressing. There we go. I need to restart. I don't need to restart that. I think I would know. Oh, here we go. That gen got locked off. Oh, well, they locked it. Cool. And the gen over there is the one that they uh, were messing with. Not the best. Thank you. There we go. She's going for my totem. We scared her off of it for now, though. Probably over this way. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> You have good ping? Or you have bad ping? You have rough ping. I'm surprised you got hit by that. Easy hook. Oh, that's what she was waiting for. She had aura read there. Wow, nice read. But I guess I didn't put that the correct way. Nice. At least we got rid of two good pallets. Ooh, they missed a skill check over there. Okay, we have that and that. I'm going to move back over here and get this uh, drone back out. Mega, thanks so much for the gifted sub. Hmm. 
And perfect. And now we place this here. Which means the skill check is going to be even uh, smaller when they go for the overcharge hit. They get our one lullaby. Oh, there it goes. I wonder how hard that skill check is, actually. Skills are still available? Yes. Oh, no. Got the extra movement speed. Easy peasy. Look how much that chunked that. Oh, my God. Cool. That way, when they come to do the actual... Uh, no. Gamer. How do I want to do this? Do I get over here in time? I probably get over here. Uh, no, I don't. I had drop. I'm in a really bad spot there. This shit has quite a bit of progress, too. I probably could kick this in a second after I finish the chase. Nice. Just gonna watch the seventh play streak. Hell yeah. I'll kick that in a second. I wanna get back over here and kick this again. My man is scared. Give me the movement speed. <laughs> you know he pressed it in advance and he saw me as he pressed it. You know, you're just like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, no. All right, cool. Big overcharge value. Four stacks and dying, I know, right? Get out of here with your toolbox, gamer. I think I'm just gonna hook here. It might get rid of the uh, drone, though. Yeah, it did, bummer. Five stacks, that's fine. Perfect drone right here, though. That way, when they come up for the next save, hopefully they miss that skill check. And back there. Cool. And now we have five stacks of Huntress Lullaby. So every missed skill check's brutal. Not to mention we have Unnerving. So if they miss a skill check when I get closer here, it's going to chunk it pretty hard. Nice. Oh, that was such a mistake. Did she think this was a ball? That was a big mistake. All right, let me... I think I'm going to take her here. That way I can kick that... Oh, my God. Is that the gen? Yeah. I think it might have been actually a heal. All right. So now what I do is we leave that there because it's kind of watching over the totem. We come here. We're going to kick this gen. And then we're going to uh, put our drone on it. Which will make it just a little bit harder to uh, hit that skill check. And they're missing skill checks over here thanks to, uh, obviously, Huntress Lullaby. I'm going to grab this real quick. Ooh, I didn't get it yet. Hey, there it goes. And this gen is dead. Oh, my God. Gen is completely gone. It's really brutal, man. Impossible skill check Scully. Just straight up dirty. Question mark? Yeah, there that goes. That's fine. Let's see. Oh, I could have tagged her on that. There goes a missed skill check. I'm so interested to see how much that actually did. All right, cool. We got rid of that. We got some good movement speed. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. What did they get rid of? They missed a skill check here. Oh, yeah. Wow. And back there. Cool. The gem back there was already dead, though. We'll come check this one out. I'm guessing I have a lot of pressure here. Not really. That's a big mistake. Ooh, which one she do? One behind us? Yeah, that one over there. Fair enough. Oh no. Well, I'm just gonna do this again. Easy peasy. We're still here. Oh, I thought I heard somebody. I'm 
not really interested in her. I'm gonna go back over here real quick. We'll kick the gen, and of course, we will uh, drop the drone again. Just to show, like, the play style. And he's uh, grabbing that now, which is fine. Ooh, she blocked it. That's smart. Hi. The press alliance definitely uh, hurts a little bit, but thankfully she made a pretty big misstep there. And with all the extra movement speed, we can always play pretty hard on those. Easy peasy hookup. Is this stun being blocked? It is. Awesome. Let me go ahead and break this. We might lose one gen, hard to say. And let's go ahead and kick this. So overcharge. Remember, if they work on that gen, it's going to be an insanely small skill check if they try to tap it before taking care of the uh, drone. Are you, are you messing up so bad? The skill checks are not going to be easy. It's going to be an eight. If I am nearby, it's an 80% reduction. Cool. Kick this as well. These games will, like I said, Skull Merchant games will always be a little bit more slow paced. Go ahead and redo this. And he probably is back over here getting this done. Cool. That works for me. He does have it, but now he's going to be in unnerving with overcharge. Hey, buddy. No need to kick that gen right now. Let's do that, though. Ooh, life gaming. And they missed the skill check. No. Get back there for healing. Cool. Ooh, I missed something. I wasn't paying attention. Got him. Undetectable at its finest. Dude, that poor survivor there's missing so many skill checks. And I believe this guy's last hook. No, wow. We've even played pretty nice outside of poor Claudette. I have yet to see Scald played well by any what do you I what do you mean? I took her for 10 games and won all 10 with the uh, build of the week. My guy, you're you're just really one-sided on this one just because you haven't played well with her. Nice. There we go. The majority of the community already agrees that she's just aware of space in the game. What do you mean? A waste of space? People don't like macro killers ever. Outside of like the fast base. Like I said, more of a fast base now. All right, there we go. A lot of people have played very well with uh, Scully. You just have to enjoy more macro killers. Survivors love the mac the uh, micro singularity. Well, they love macro singularity, but people are enjoying singularity because of the uh, well, one, it was actually pretty easy to run when you had like so many EMPs. So survivors were definitely loving that. And then the other reason why people are loving Singularity is because he's fast-paced. The thing about Skull Merchant people don't like is the fact that he's not, you know, she's uh, slow-paced. She was made to be a 3 gen killer, for sure. The problem is that she was just slow-paced. Singularity, in a sense, is going to be a 3 gen killer as well. But he's a much more fast-paced and overall well-designed killer. 100% agree, though. Singularity is going to get a lot more love. Howdy. You know, I told myself she had life and I still swung. Thankfully, she uh, goobered up into the rocks. Yeah, but I enjoy uh, Scully. She, like I said, she's more slow paced. RPD. Honestly, though, might be able to have some fun with this one. Because of the skill check kind of idea here. Okay. First, I'm going to position this like this. That way we can kind of watch the totem. Next, I mean, both these totems are actually kind of in a good spot. Okay, we'll put that there. Does this watch this? It does. That's so good. All right. You really hope his voice lines are good? Oh, I think they will be. We're not here. I should have placed that drone a little bit better. I see. Okay. Okay. 
Easy peasy. We'll kick this. We'll drop a rate. We'll drop that by it. Oppression miss skill check up there with Huntress Lullaby is pretty brutal. Gotcha. You think she was in a locker? Like, that's my thought, is that she just went the locker route. Maybe not the best place. They might have been able to body block that. It would have been close. Woo. I don't have a pressure coming up for a few more seconds. Let's go over here and put a uh, drone on this. Ah. Uh, all right, easy kick. I kind of want to get over there now and put uh something on that, but oh well. What are you gonna do? That's gonna take a second. Nice. I didn't want to use anything for that. Cool. We actually did take that. Nice miss skill check. Easy enough. There we go. I actually managed to run out pretty nicely there. I didn't hear any footsteps or nothing. Oh, wind out. Dude, I missed that something fierce. Oh, cool. Hey, buddy. I messed out all sorts of up a moment ago, but at least we still got some value. What's such as law by doing? Anytime they miss a skill check, they get severely punished. The skill check's going totally fun. Oh, I think so, yeah. And then we go ahead and hit them with a oppression. There goes a missed skill check. The drone overlapping scratch marks made it rough, yeah. It happens, it's not a big deal. Another missed skill check. I see. We'll do that then. Now whenever they come back to work on it. Oh, hold up, hold up. Where are we at? Hey man. That is brutal. These guys are in big trouble. Which one are they grabbing? That one or are they over there? Hard to say. Probably on that one. And I got these guys just kind of trapped here. Oh, yeah. Like, what do you even do in this situation, right? All right. Click that. I was actually get her to a nearby hook. Is Skull Merchant fun to play? I think so. He's a slower pace killer, though. And look at this gen, by the way. Just completely gutted. I bet the upstairs gen by now is completely gutted. RB is oddly a great map for Scully. Yeah, as long as they're not, like, holding forward to the other side, for sure. All right. I'm going to move over here now. Yeah, they moved over here. They're looking for that uh, Huntress Lullaby. It is a threat with, uh, with uh, Scully, in my opinion. I don't know if I want to keep chasing this or just chase for a hit and then go uh, trap up or uh, drone up the uh, totem. What I could do, hold on, is this. We place one drone underneath. And that will let us know when anyone, someone never goes for that. As long as we manage to keep the uptime on it. Life gaming, cool. Easy drop. Four stacks of Huntress Lullaby, making those skill checks even harder to hit. Since they almost at the moment get no warning. And after we down Bill here, they'll get absolutely no warning. Great. 
and we just gotta make sure we keep this drone up 100% of the time. That way we know if anyone ever is going for our totem. We might not be able to stop them from getting it, but, you know, what are you gonna do? Ooh, there we go. Gotta try and get through this doorway. Okay, it's not there. Both these are good. I think what I'm going to do is put a... I'll go back down there and put the drone. That's fine. Boil over an RPD. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. Yeah, they're not here. So there's no point in that. Is this gen still going? That gen is completely killed. Thanks to the overcharge and stuff. Put that out. Let's have one more. And we'll restart that again. We want that up all the time. And here we are. We finally found the gen that they were going on, which is great. Boom, easy peasy, and then we just leave it like that. And so we basically killed all of the uh, gens. Yeah. Here we are. It's not the best position here, but it works. Ah, oh, someone's up there. Oh, she missed a skill check. Or I should say she misdialed that. I don't know if I can actually catch her off guard, though. There she is. She's going up and around. Can I maybe play on that? Our tracking's okay. Where's he at? Over there. Cool. There she is. I can always bring something back here and make it really work. You think she just greets this permanently? Wow. I thought she might actually greet it. Like, that'd be kind of the call, right? Here, there, she just hovers the pallet. Yeah. Cool. And that's one survivor out. A missed skill check there. And where's the other survivor at? That gen back there. And up a floor. So they're on the back, back gen. The reason why this build is also so good is because we can protect our totem with pretty good ease. All right, hold up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back here. We put a drone down. And then we'll kick this gem with oppression. They get no warning, so they miss the skill check over there. That They just missed like two, three skill checks there. Poor guys got brutal on that one. So remember, like five stacks of Huntress Lullaby, it is a... Uh, is it bounce landing? It is bounce landing. Cool. There is no warning at all whenever it comes down to skill checks. So they'd be paying quite a bit of attention. And if they are in the drone radius by any for any reason... Then they're really in trouble. Do this. Let's get ourselves a free hit. Thank you. Poor survivor over there cannot hit the skill checks to save their life. Nice. I'm going to keep doing it just because there's no reason not to. There we go. Nice try. They finally got the one gen done, but only because we didn't go over that way and kick it. Another missed skill check. That's rough. Don't really have a good area to put this, so we'll just keep moving forward. I'm definitely going to have to do some probably editing for these ones. Well done. Question is what... I see. At least no one's gotten back there yet. Yeah, we want to keep that up all the time. Oh, yeah, run back here would be great. The funny part about it being double story, that's my bad. Is it 16? Default is 10%. Hunter is 16. I thought it was default was 5. That's my bad. Yeah. 
So every time they miss a skill check, that's 16% of total uh, gen. So, extremely brutal. So you can already kind of see where like this build starts picking up a lot of momentum on being able to just destroy generators. It's actually really dirty. Because what happens is we can kick this. Overcharge has to stay on it. We put a drone next to it. If they try to hit that skill check, it's a pain. Hi. Right. Nice try though. Overcharge skill check is another four. Yeah, exactly. If they miss an overcharge skill check, it's even more brutal. And there we go. Is overcharge affected by a lollyball's in lolly increase? Yes. Yeah, so you have like 20% if they miss an overcharge thing. And then, yeah, we have obviously Undying to protect Huntress Lullaby. We go back here. I see we're all for it. They actually got it. I never restarted it. Yeah, it's on me. I mean, the game's already over, but... You can see I could probably protect it even longer, or on like a smaller map, we could really protect it. Cool. So by the time they actually got Huntress Lullaby, we just decimate auto pull. <laughs> Cut my lunge. There we go. Um, yeah, by the time you know they managed to get it, this game is over. Here we go. We got both doors kind of blocked off. So it's really just, uh, it's always a matter of time. As long as you get one of the doors locked up, you're pretty good. I was going to hold forward there. I should have held forward on the other side, but that's okay. I want to play this. He's probably just going to... Yeah. And there we go. Yeah, man. This is just an absolutely, like, dirty build. Very hard if you like to play against as survivors. Even if you're, like, hitting your skill checks and stuff. Like, all it takes is one missed skill check from, like, oppression or overcharge to, like, completely kill a gen. By a lot. Aren't you just gonna take that? Hope that you fucking fight back.